back. Yes, indeed. So good. My first guest. My first guest has starred in such films as Monsters Ball and The Patriot. His new movie, The Brothers Grimm, opens August 26. Please welcome Heath Ledger. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You got a little bit of Conan energy right yeah, there. Yeah, I know. I was watching you before. <laughs> or you had a lot up. of sugar, yeah. I have. No, thanks for coming. First of all, oh, those are cool. Yeah, they're all right, huh? Look at that. I got attacked by a cat on the way here. They, they, were, they were just <laughs> red. Yeah, they uh, would frighten any animal. Yeah, no, they're <laughs> cool, though. Now, I want to ask you something. First of all, you are from Australia, but I don't know where in Australia. Where uh, are you Perth, from? Western Perth. Australia. Never been to Perth, but an absolutely beautiful place, it is. Australia. It is beautiful, yeah. Fantastic. But now you live in Brooklyn. Yep. And I was thinking... No, no, listen, I'm not... Uh-oh. <laughs> People are going to be waiting for me when I leave. <laughs> what are you saying about Brooklyn? Uh... <laughs> no, Brooklyn's great, but I can't imagine a place that would be more opposite yeah. than, than Australia, right? I mean, it's just got to be completely different. It, it is, and, that, and that's kind of what I love about it at this point. I was after some uh, a change, uh, you right. know? Um, and it's just so quiet. It's real living, you know? I, I, I'm lugging my laundry down to the laundromat, and I... You know, my, my duties right now is just keeping the house clean, my girlfriend happy. Right, right. Um, I love that you just say, like, yeah, I had to get out of Australia so I could lug some laundry around, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, 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 I mean, you also, you get hounded a bit in Australia. You're, you know, yeah, well, a, a big star yeah. anywhere, but in Australia, they, they, the paparazzi kind of gives you a hard time? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, look, they're bored, I, yeah. I think. You know, right, they, right. they don't get many people going down to Australia, and so it's, a, it's a, you know. They've got all the photos of Crocodile Dundee they would ever want. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we gotta get Heath now. Yeah. So you come to Brooklyn, and the paparazzi, they don't really want to go into Brooklyn too badly, no, right? No, they couldn't care less. It's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You settle down, yeah. Terrell. Come up there. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have Mr. T take care of that guy. <laughs> but, uh, so you're having a good time, and, yeah. and I know that sometimes in Australia, when you've had a, a hard time with the paparazzi, um, you know, and it's common among stars, they tend to lose it once in a while. You've actually thrown, you, you throw stuff at them. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> I think people are behind you on that. I don't think anyone's complaining, but, but what do you throw? I've thrown an egg. You've thrown two. an egg. Yeah, or... not at them, just kind of next to them so it splatters up. <laughs> them. You've put a lot of thought into it. But that's I how pathetic hit... it is. Like, that's what we were reduced to, you know? Right, like, right. You, can't, you can't actually stand up and slap them. I mean, when they, when they kind of spy in on you and you're trying to, like, bathe out in the sun and you're, you're with your girlfriend or your friends or your family, and they're spying in on you, it actually feels like you're getting a slap across the face. Right, right. And, and we can't physically stand up and hit them back, of course. Uh, right. It would be rude and uh, against the law. <laughs> right, right. Um, so you just you get an egg. and. That's a good idea. Do you carry eggs with you? Do you have an egg dispenser? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a carton strapped to your chest at all times? Yeah. Very nice. That was a cool sound, by the way. Thanks um, a lot. Yeah. I got more. This guy provides his own sound effects. <laughs> now, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm, I'm an idiot, but Australia now is, is having... We're in the summer, but it, it's the winter for Australia. Is that right? Yeah. Does that mean, like, snow and people cooking at the chimney? And uh, I mean, what does it mean when it's winter in Australia? Um, uh, what, what does it mean? Uh, I mean, does it get really cold? Is there, are the kangaroos I mean, I mean, wearing not, mittens? I'm just, I, I, not really. I, I, I mean, it, it, it was quite confusing growing up. I mean, for, for, for example, I mean, Christmas time in Australia, I, I grew up, uh, you know, around the, the barbecue, kind of right. cooking sausages and steaks uh, in, you know, in 40 degree heat, sweating and, um, in, in flip flops and shorts and, and singlets. Uh, right, right. Singing, dashing through the snow. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> it's, got, it's not the same Mom experience that snow. you've seen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're getting a sunburn and uh, yeah. it sounds kind of cool though. It sounds like a good time. It is, it's beautiful, yeah. Now, I want to ask you one of the things that's famous in Australia is there's an Aboriginal instrument mm -hmm. that's well known, which is called the, the didgeridoo. Didger didgeridoo. Do. Yeah. And I've seen it in certain movies, and I'm sure everyone here has heard it's that kind of... Sorry. But it's such a cool instrument, and then it turns out I've heard that you play the didgeridoo. I can play the didgeridoo, yeah. Really? Because we happen to have a didgeridoo <laughs> right here. <laughs> you know what's amazing? I've had, I've had this didgeridoo back here for 12 years. <laughs> and I'm always like, Al Roker? And he's like, no. 
Desperate Housewives, no, but uh, can you give, give us a demonstration? Is that all right? Okay, sure. Am I even holding this? I don't even know what's the right end. Do you know how they, 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 they make this, or they find these? The Aboriginals uh, will walk through the, uh, uh, in the outback, right. and they walk up to trees, and this is like the, the trunk of a tree, and they, they tap it like this. Right. And uh, they, they, they listen to it and listen to the sound, whether or not it's hollow. It's actually termites that kind of bite their way through and so they, they, they find a, a piece of wood that's been hollowed out already by a termite. That's right, and then they cut the tree down and turn it into this. All right, all right let's give it a shot. And are all the termites out by now? Do you have to probably... Yeah. Okay, no. all right. All right, so you've got to be go. really, really quiet. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> There for another 20 yeah. years. That was, that's a do you want to cool, give it a shot? I don't so even know. How would I, uh, what do you do to do it? I don't even know. <laughs> this isn't working for me. <laughs> I think I just threw up into it. I'm sorry. I got tense. I don't that even know. It's something was, with the lips, close, though, probably. Yeah. It's a very, it's a very uh, <laughs> eerie, sort of ominous sound. Yeah. It's hypnotic almost, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah, yeah. I will do like, your bidding now. Can yeah. you uh, can you solo on it? You ever like bang out like a? Can you do like a Hendrix solo? Oh, uh, I'd love to. I'd love to. I right. should I should release an album or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for doing that. We let's talk about the Brothers Grimm. Yeah. Uh, actual, uh, and we've all heard of the Brothers Grimm. Mm -hmm. These are actual uh, people from the 19th century that that I guess. Uh, you tell it. You'll tell it better than I will. Sure. Well, I, well the actual people were, you know, um, highly respected scholars, mm -hmm. you know, of, uh, uh, you know, in Germany, and they uh, they collected uh, folk lores, folk tales, and uh, you know, actually, in actual fact, Jacob, my character, went on to become a politician. Mm -hmm. uh, they wrote half the German dictionary. Mm -hmm. And then there's our film, and um, our films. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but it's a Terry Gilliam version of this, so it's a fairy tale. Um, right. And uh, it's a beautiful film. Uh, it's, it's very eccentric. Terry Gilliam is one of, one of my favorite directors. Um, he's done incredible films, going back to like Monty Python era and stuff. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. just, I, I adore him. Um, and so basically in this film, Matt Damon is uh, my brother, and the two of us kind of go from town to town bilking these uh, villagers, villagers for their kind of hard-earned uh, dollar. Um, and, we, and we set up these little scams where we uh, pretend to vanquish them, uh, vanquish their, their towns of these kind of mill witches and, and uh, you know, uh, bridge trolls, when in actual fact we're setting them up, uh, setting up little scenarios You're with You're scamming actors. them a little bit. Scamming them, that's right. And then we encounter a, a real enchanted forest and right that's the story and it's it's sort of the the uh the historical meets uh, sort of a fantasy element yeah, here yeah, we have right. a clip here anything we need to know specifically for this or oh uh, no go for it all right <laughs> <laughs> how refreshing let's take a look at this clip from the brothers grim <laughs> the uh the brothers grim opens august 26th hey he thanks so much for coming by thanks yeah, yeah cool to have you the show heath ledger everybody jim kramer coming up we'll be right back.